This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the structures of starch, glycogen, and cellulose. So let's start by looking at the structure of starch. Starch is used as carbohydrate storage in plants. It is a polymer composed of alpha glucose with alpha 1 4 glycosidic links between the glucose molecules. So here we have a section of a starch molecule. The monomers are alpha glucose molecules and they are joined by alpha 1 4 glycosidic links between carbon number 1 and carbon number 4 of the glucose molecules. Starch is a mixture of two polysaccharides, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose has alpha 1 4 glycosidic links and amylopectin has alpha 1 4 and alpha 1 6 glycosidic links. Here we can see the structures of amylose at the top and amylopectin at the bottom. Amylose is a straight chain polymer while amylopectin is a branched chain polymer. Next we look at glycogen. Glycogen is used as carbohydrate storage in animals. It is a polymer of alpha glucose with alpha 1 4 and alpha 1 6 glycosidic links. So here we have a section of a glycogen molecule. The monomers are alpha glucose molecules and they are bonded with alpha 1 4 glycosidic links and alpha 1 6 glycosidic links. Like amylopectin, glycogen is a branched chain polymer, but glycogen has many more branches than amylopectin. And finally, we look at the structure of cellulose. Cellulose is used as the structural material in plants and as dietary fiber as part of a balanced diet. It is a polymer of beta glucose with beta 1 4 glycosidic links. So here we have a section of a cellulose molecule. The monomers are beta glucose molecules and they're bonded with beta 1 4 glycosidic links. The alternating beta glucose molecules are upside down with respect to each other. So if we look at the structure, we can see that the beta glucose molecules are upside down with respect to each other. The hydroxyl groups in the cellulose molecules form hydrogen bonds with the hydroxyl groups of other cellulose molecules lying parallel to each other. So here we can see two cellulose molecules which are lying parallel to each other. The dashed lines represent hydrogen bonds between the hydroxyl groups in the parallel cellulose molecules. Cellulose forms cables which are known as microfibrils of parallel chains that give it a rigid structure. This explains why wood, which is composed of cellulose, has a rigid structure and is a useful building material.